Okay, we're getting pretty close to opening here at the greenhouse. This is a Friday. Our plan is to open up this coming Monday. Uh, we had a little bit of time yesterday, so I'm getting my wife's raised bed garden ready to plant. Uh, every year, we've had this raised bed right here for probably 20 years, and every year we try to add a little new dirt to it, improve it, compost. If uh, you ever want to build a raised bed, there's many different ways and sizes you can do. With this bed here, I added a little higher board this year and we put new dirt in it. The key to the raised bed is having good dirt. And we takes years to build up a good compost dirt. You want to fertilize them. And, and what we usually would do in the fall of the year is put like a general purpose 12, 12, 12 over. If you're going to fertilize through the season, you can buy a water soluble uh, mix could be 20 20 20 and just go by the instructions on the fertilizer with a uh, soil you never know what you've got as far as if it's acidy soil it doesn't hurt every year or so to add a little bit of lime we use a hydrated lime here but there's other kinds of pelleted lime that works a little bit quicker but always try to mix a little bit of that into your soil and if you're planting tomatoes and peppers, my wife used to struggle with some blossom end rot and different things on her peppers. We found our best way to get uh, calcium into it, eggshells. So we always scatter and till in eggshells. That's the best source. There's other sources of calcium out there, but around our peppers and tomatoes, we like to use eggshells. And you can add them into your soil even through the winter, just keep throwing them on there. And that'll give you good peppers and tomatoes. Now, one thing, if you build a raised bed, you should have it close to a water source because they do dry out a little bit quicker and it, you've got to keep them, your plants well watered. Now, come next week, we hopefully will get some stuff in this bed and be ready to grow. Now, we're going to be opening Monday, so we're all getting ready and we hope all of our customers will be ready too. We like everybody to wear masks, keep the social distance, and if you watch our post, you'll uh, have more instructions out there to watch. And our call-in orders, we're gonna try a curbside service. If you or somebody you know doesn't wanna shop, go through the greenhouses, we'll do our best to fill call-in orders. So starting next week, we'll be taking call-in orders, and we'll do the best we can with that. Call us and see. So until next week, Happy planting.